guys, welcome back to Strong Successful Mail. So for today, I'm going to go over an article titled 15 Reasons Why Nice Guys Get the Girl in the End. Now guys, this is yet another article written by a woman that's trying to do two things. Number one, she's trying to convince guys that in the end, the nice guy, which is most guys to be honest here in varying degrees, will get the girl. So don't feel bad that all those years when you've had your heart broken and you've been taken advantage of and jerked around, don't worry because at the end you're going to get the girl and you'll live happily ever after. And two, she's trying to convince women out there that, hey, trying to use logic and reason, you want to go for the good guy, the nice guy, because, you know, the bad boy isn't good for you and I'm going to convince you of that for 15 reasons, okay? And we all know, guys, those of you who've been following me for a while and have been around the block, this is bullshit, Okay. At the end of the day, women are never attracted to nice guys. They settle for nice guys, okay? And when they say in this article that nice guys win in the end, or they get the girl in the end, they never do. They may get her to settle for the guy in the end, but he never truly has her heart, and he sure as hell does not have her soul, okay? And any of you guys that have been married before, or just you know people that are married, friends, family, and you look around... How many times can you see situations and scenarios where you can just tell, absolutely without a shadow of a doubt, that that woman settled for that guy, and just you can just tell the way she acts around him, the way she looks at him. Not only was she not his, her first choice, but she truly settled and really has no interest or love or attraction for the guy, but did it because obviously she had no choice. Because, you know, the guys that she wanted during her prime, that when she was riding the carousel, they're not going to settle. Uh-uh-uh. And also the type of guys that so many women are convinced that they're entitled to in this day and age, the top percentage of guys, they don't want them. So they end up settling and convincing your average guy that doesn't know any better that, hey, you the nice guy, you came out on top, you won. I have news for you. No, you didn't. And so I'm going to go through this article here with her trying to convince both men and women of this. And I'm going to, you know, pick it apart as we go here. Because we all know you guys have been following me for a while. This is horseshit. So starts off saying, do nice guys really finish last? After years in the dating scene, you might wonder if there's really any truth to that popular saying. Why does everyone always assume that nice guys never come out on top? First of all, we're all pretty much bad boy obsessed and we tend to push the nice guys aside in favor of ones we know are trouble. We all want to be loved and be treated with respect and unfortunately those bad boys will never be able to do that. How many women have had people tell them this over and over and over again from by the time when they were teenagers, all the way up in their 20s and 30s? They never get it. And you can have men tell them this, you can have women tell them this, people they look up to and respect, doesn't matter. Because logic and reason does not work against emotion. It goes on, nice guys actually have a ton of amazing qualities that any girl would look for in a partner. So it should come to no surprise that they usually do get the girl after all. Define get the girl. That's the important thing here. It might take a little bit longer than expected, but nice guys have proven themselves to be our knights in shining armor and have made us think twice about what kind of guy we should go out with. If you want to be in a relationship that will go the distance, a nice guy is the way to go. Still need some convincing? No problem. Here are 15 reasons why nice guys always get the girl in the end. Number 15, and it's a countdown here. Number 15, we're done being treated badly. Oh, really? If it seems like you always pick the worst guys, don't worry. You're not alone there. Even the best of us have been left feeling let down, brokenhearted, and downright confused by some of the men we've chosen to be with over the years. At some point, we come to the realization that whatever we're doing when it comes to the dating just isn't working and we decide that we best to switch things up. They don't decide. They realize, hey, my market value is decreasing every day because typically when they're in their teens and 20s, that's the, the, female, the woman's prime. And as their market value decreases, translation, they're getting older, maybe putting on weight and all that, they realize, shit. I better settle quickly because I'm losing my my value here, my my level of attraction, so I better do something and settle quickly before I have no options, 
which a lot of women in their 30s and 40s end up having virtually no options. It says here, you have dated all types of guys, but they all have one thing in common and never worked out with any of them. At this point, you are so over being treated poorly by men and you just want an actual nice guy to come your way for once. Of course, the odds are pretty high that you've had multiple chances to date the stereotypical nice guy before. You just never took the opportunity. Now that you've had your fair share of experience when it comes to dating duds, you understand the true value of finding a nice guy who will cherish you and treat you right. Guess what? Your average woman, good looking woman, has had plenty of opportunities throughout all her, her years, her prime years, teens, 20s, 30s, whatever. Plenty of options of nice guys, good guys, and they weren't exactly always doormats. But how many times have they been kicked to the curb, taken advantage of because the woman felt she was entitled either to the top percentage of guys, the top 5% that make all the money, very good looking, all the women are after, or just good guys, but they're not necessarily doormats, or spending her time with the guy riding the carousel, so to speak. Should you feel bad for these women? Absolutely not. And you can tell the woman who wrote this article, guys, is definitely someone I guarantee has been, who rode the carousel for a while, and now she's seen the light, so to speak, and now she's sharing her wisdom to everybody else. All right, number 14, counting down. Bad boys are overrated. Sure, we've all been utterly captivated by a bad boy at least once in our lives, and we definitely find them super attractive. After a while, their allure wears off and you suddenly understand that a guy like that probably won't make you happy in the long run. Dating is supposed to be fun, and if you want to spend some time with a rebellious guy, by all means, go for it. But at some point, you just might realize that the bad boys are totally and completely overrated and you will outgrow them long before they are ready to mature and leave their wild ways long behind. That's the thing. How many women have it in their minds and they're the ones that's going to change the guy. They're the ones that's going to get them to leave their wild ways behind. Doesn't work that way. These guys don't change. But so many women think they can change them. It's hilarious. When it finally comes time to settle down, you might be more interested in nice guys than you ever imagined because they give you everything that your bad boy ex-boyfriend never could. You know, like time, effort, compassion, and commitment, just to name a few. Yeah, and the guys that did this to them, what did they end up doing? Kicking them to the curb for the guy that didn't do any of that. So is it any wonder that your average guy that's finally becoming what you call red-pilled, so to speak, gaining this, this knowledge, doesn't do this crap anymore. And all of a sudden, these guys are starting to get results. It's just how it is. Number 13 in the countdown. We want something real. You have already had the superficial hookups the guys who are only interested in you for selfish reasons, and the guys who are totally scared of being in an actual relationship. Totally scared. Nice try. Wasting your time on the wrong guys can be exhausting, and it can definitely make you want to throw in the towel and give up on dating for good. But when you really think about what you want in a partner, you need someone who is genuine, sincere, honest, and is with you for all the right reasons. This is exactly where the nice guy comes into the picture. You might not have noticed him before, but you begin to see how awesome a person he is and even start to see him in an entirely different light. Could you possibly be attracted to him? Could you become more than friends? Could he even become the one? All signs point to yes. When you want a friend, excuse me, when you want a guy who is totally capable of having a real relationship, the answer is clear. Nice guys always come out on top. Bullshit. A woman is never going to look at the, the, the nice guy, the guy she settles for, the same way. She's not going to have the attraction. She's not going to be drawn to that guy the same way as she is to a guy that she perceives as being a top percentage guy, a high value guy, or the bad boy. It's never going to happen. Ever, ever, ever. Number 12. They are totally trustworthy. Well, they aren't called nice guys for nothing, right? Of course, we all want someone who we can build a solid foundation of trust and understanding with. If you don't have trust, then you don't have the kind of romance you know you deserve. There's that word, deserve. You definitely don't need a guy who lies, cheats, manipulates, and plays games. 
Guys that lie, cheat, manipulate, and play games. Guys, who, who else does this? Do we know anybody else that tends to pull this type of crap? If you really think about it, hmm. Women. You've already been down that road many times, and you definitely had enough. When you want a true partner and best friend, a nice guy is what's necessary. Not only will they be fortright with you, but they will honor you, support you, listen to you, and stand by your side through thick and thin. Yeah, guess what? Your average good nice guy will do that. Can it be said about your average woman? Many, 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 many articles and real life stories from guys like you guys watching the video right now have certainly proven otherwise. Does that mean that all women are like that? No. But sadly, an ever increasing percentage, more and more, are just behaving the same way as what she's talking about as the bad boy. So it's no wonder that guys are more and more, as time goes on, not only avoiding marriages like the plague, but relationships altogether. Because we've learned the sad reality of how it is. Nice guys make amazing significant others, and once you finally open your eyes, you'll be able to see a super great guy who will appreciate you for everything you are. It's not it's not enough to convince you that nice guys finish first. We're not sure what is. Number 11, they restore our faith. It can be easy to feel defeated and stuck with the notion that all guys suck and that you will never find a guy who will treat you right. After kissing a lot of frogs and still not finding your prince, it's pretty understandable that you would, you would come out to the conclusion that you just aren't lucky enough when it comes to love. When you least expect it, a super nice guy will come your way and give you the glimmer of hope you always needed. Yup, not all guys are bad, and finally opening your heart to the nice guy type will restore your faith and prove that good guys do exist after all. There are plenty of good guys. The vast majority of guys, the absolute vast majority, are good guys. So she's making out to be like talking about how women whine and complain that guys suck and there's no good guys. Bullshit. What a load of crap. You've been choosing the wrong ones from the start. And when you finally realize that your judgment of character is a little faulty when it comes to picking the proper partner, you will open the door for the right guy to enter into your life. Even when you are feeling at your worst, a nice guy will love you just the same as when you are at your best. Finding a nice guy who will show you exactly what it means to be treated like a lady will turn your world upside down, in the best possible way possible, of course. Nice guys don't turn a woman's life upside down in that way. The bad boy does. Let's be honest here. Number 10, their marriage material. No shit. There's no doubt that nice guys make excellent partners who are definitely marriage material. And why wouldn't they? They are loyal and will still fa stay faithful to their woman. They're honest and can be trusted. And most importantly, they are ready and willing to make a commitment. This is all absolutely true. Absolutely true. And women know this. This is why they can spend their prime riding the carousel, doing all that, kicking nice guys to the curb and treat them like crap. But when they're ready to settle and realize they're not going to get the type of guys they wanted originally, the nice guy, just like that, is willing and able to just jump in and take the girl that wouldn't have given the time of day just a couple of years earlier. And so many guys are so delusional think, hey, they won. No, they didn't. Because these same type of women eventually... Not all, but a lot, end up stepping out and cheating on this guy or leaving him when he's going through a down, a tough time or whatever happens to be, or she gets some kids out of him because that's just what a lot of women want. They get the ring, they get the marriage, the house, the kids, they get the money, then they can divorce him and then uh, be a single mom and attempt to, to find more uh, guys to ride the carousel with. That's how it is now in this modern age. It's not, doesn't mean everybody's like this, but so many stories I have heard from you guys sending me your stories. I can't respond to all of them. I can't make videos out of all of them, but you wouldn't believe it, guys, how many stories I hear. It's just the world we live in now. It's crazy. Goes on. What more could a girl really need in a future husband? When it comes to playing for keeps, you know you don't want to settle with, down with a guy who doesn't have his life together, has a perpetually wandering eye, and is super afraid of even hearing the word marriage come out of your mouth. Nobody has time for that. Let me be totally honest, you haven't always been treated the best in the past, and a nice guy is just what the doctor ordered to mend your damaged heart. 
They are the definition of the kind of guy they want to be with for the long term because, frankly, they are just plain nice. They don't mess around when it comes to leading you on, and they do what they can to give you the best life imaginable. Yep, when it comes to settling down with a traditional nice guy, sign us up. Good luck to this woman trying to convince the masses of this. Come on here. Number nine, we change our type. Whether we want to admit it or not, most of us have a type, and nice guys usually aren't at the top of the list. There is just something charming about a guy who is a smooth talker, and we have a hard time breaking away from guys who are trouble from the moment we met them. While it's totally fine to be attracted to a certain type of guy, it's important to recognize the common denominator with the men you choose so you don't make the same mistake twice. Broadening your horizons and not being so quick to judge a book by its cover can absolutely open more doors. Once you are open to trying something new, you might be surprised by what you find. Given a, giving a normal, nice guy a chance will change your entire perspective on dating and hopefully make you realize that you need much more than what you've been given in previous relationships. Once you decide to keep the past in the past, there's no turning back. Number eight, they get the stamp of approval. A lot of times, being with a guy who doesn't get the stamp of approval from the most important people in your life can be a total deal breaker. That's a huge thing with women. If for a woman, if her friends don't see you as a prize or they don't think you're that great, good luck getting her. Okay, I'm telling you that right now. Okay, it doesn't make a difference so much with her family, but it's her friends and everybody else sees you. So they see you as a prize, like the, you know, that a girl she's dating a guy and they think he's has value, then she'll be interested in him. But if she really likes him and finds out that her friends don't like him or see him as having value, a lot of women will be like, gone, next, no joke. But they gotta be careful because they actually could get a good guy and then the friends that are jealous because they're single and don't have anybody pretend and act like he doesn't have any value or they're not, they don't see him as a prize and trick the girl into kicking him to the curve. It's how it is. Your friends and family definitely want to see you happy and you can count on them to want the best for you. Which is exactly why them liking your be your boyfriend is crucial. They are able to see the red flags that you might initially overlook, so when your closest allies are super supportive of your relationship, it can come as a total relief. If we're being honest, how many times have you had a boyfriend that your best friends and even your parents couldn't stand? They know when somebody just isn't right for you, and they will usually tell you up front if they don't like how a guy treats you. When you're dating a generally nice guy, you know that just as soon as your friends and family meet him, they'll love him just as much as you do, and they'll see just how happy he makes you. How many women have been told by their friends and co-workers and family, this guy isn't right for you. It's not going to work. He's not marriage material. He's going to hurt you. All these things. And how many times do they really listen to that? Come on here. Number seven, they take care of us. Nice guys are pretty much always there for you when you need them, both physically and emotionally. If you've had a rough day or just need someone to talk to, a nice guy is willing and ready to lend an ear. If you're sick, a nice guy will be there to give you chicken soup and tell you things will get better soon. These guys generally care about the girl they're with and will practically bend over backwards to make sure they're comfortable and feel safe. Guys, how many times have you done this stuff when you were younger in varying degrees, not necessarily what she's saying, and how's that worked out for you, right? The girl gets bored, he's too nice, too easy, and blah, blah, blah. That guy stays in the friend zone. Meanwhile, she dates the guy that doesn't do any of that. It's crazy. Women are crazy. We know it. A lot of women know it. So to think that this is going to suddenly convince your average woman to, to see things differently, come on here. And it's going to make guys that read this that don't know any better think, okay, I'll just keep behaving this way and I'll win in the end. No, they don't. This is why I've said before, guys, you don't take relationship, dating advice, any of that stuff from women, ever. Guys, take it, take dating, hookup, relationship advice, whatever happens to be, whatever you want from men. Guys that have been around the block and know what they're talking about. Because women don't, most women, I'm going to emphasize most, do not understand what they mostly respond to, and they don't want to hurt your feelings by being direct to you. All sorts of crap. Stick with the guys. She goes on, Having a guy like that in your life is a welcome change from some of your past boyfriends, and you definitely let him know 
that he is appreciated. When it comes to your love life, it's super simple. Nice guys will never let you down and are mindful of your needs, which is exactly why they end up with a girl in the end. They may end up with her temporarily if they don't get divorced, but they never get her, ever. Number six, they're proud to show us off. Well, duh, if these type of guys didn't have women like this before, of course they're going to be proud to show them off. Uh, number six, yes. Remember when you used to practically throw yourself at guys who pretty much ignored you around their friends and only showed up after midnight for a casual thing? You gave in to those guys more often than you wanted to because you wanted to be noticed and you desperately wanted them to like you. But these days, you definitely have learned your lesson and know that you are worthy of so much more. Nice guys are super proud to show you off in public, offer up PDAs, introduce you as their friends and friend, <coughs> introduce us to their friends and family. They don't care about what anyone else thinks, and they are trying to maintain a tough guy image by not getting too close to any woman. They are the one woman kind of guys, and it shows. You need to be with someone who wants to put you on display for the whole world to see. Someone who takes you out on dates and happily holds you in close. Aww. Number five, they get taken quickly. You probably whined that all the good guys are taken at least once in your dating journey. Yeah, they are, because some girls can recognize a good guy when they see them. Not a lot of us settle down with the bad boys because, well, they don't exactly want to settle down. Ding, ding, ding. That's one of the few pieces of information that she shared in this article that is actually accurate. If any of your friends are in a serious relationship or have recently gotten engaged or married, which category would you consider their partners to fall in? The chances are pretty high that you said they would fit nicely into the nice guy category because those are the kind of guys who want the same thing that you want, a lifelong partner that they can rely on. Nice guys are a prime example of the kind of guys you should be dating because they are just awesome and all around. Don't worry, they aren't all taken like you initially thought. You just have to take your time to look for them. Take your time to look for them. Guess what? Good guys are everywhere. It's not that hard. Number four. This one's hilarious. Number four, we've come to our senses. Yeah, sure. It may have taken us some time, some time, but once we actually saw the bigger picture, we were able to see that nice guys are the kind of guys we really want. We are all guilty of saying time and time again that we want a guy who is nice, but when one actually comes along, we are hesitant to give him a chance and choose a guy who is no good for us instead. Odds are, this probably has happened a few times before you started to really come to your senses. A few times? Nice guys are compassionate, understanding, and willing to put in effort into making a relationship work. Instead of just choosing men based on physical attraction, it's best to go for a guy who can make you happy and treat you the way you treat the him. For some reason, nice guys aren't exactly most women's first choice when it comes to potential suitors. But we always go crawling back to them in the end. Why? Because they see us more than just a casual hookup target and they actually care about our well-being. It's pretty clear, aim high and go for the nice guys. Women go crawling back to the nice guys because they know the nice guys are always going to be there and put up with their bullshit. And no matter how much they were jerked around the past, the nice guy will keep being nice because nice guys are generally doormats and have a scarcity mindset and don't think they're worth anything. So they'll tolerate a whole bunch of bullshit. And they get sold on this crap that they win in the end. And these poor bastards get so taken advantage of in their marriages and all that. All right, number three. They know how to treat us. Oh, they certainly do. He opens doors for you. He calls you to make sure you got home safe. And he has manners like you've never seen before. If you can check all those boxes, then congratulations, you have yourself a real nice guy. Guys, I've told you don't do any of that stuff. And I stand up by that. Opening doors, pulling out chairs, calling her the second the date's over, all this crap. That's nice guy crap. And it gets you nowhere, contrary to what she's saying here. So don't believe this bullshit. Do not do this. Let's be real. We totally love feeling appreciated and we get butterflies when a guy sends us a text saying that good morning beautiful or surprises us with flowers and other sweet thoughtful gestures. 
With nice guys, we don't really have to worry about it if he has ulterior motives or if he's just playing us all together. Nice guys' intentions are real, and they will definitely raise were raised to show women respect. And how is that? Go- how far has that gotten them in life? After being involved with so many bad boys, who knew that guys like this even existed? It can be easy to forget just how amazing it feels to be properly courted by a guy who likes you. But if you find a guy who's willing to act like a gentleman because he wants to, not because he's trying to get anything out of you, hold on to him and never let him go because he's a winner every step of the way. Number two, this is another funny one. Number two, they've been in the friend zone before. Absolutely. Every quote unquote nice guy has probably spent a majority of his life in the friend zone. If you have a few close guy friends, there might be a chance that your future boyfriend is a lot more attainable than you probably think. Of course, there's always a risk of damaging a strong friendship once you introduce the idea of dating. But there could be someone who already knows you and already adores you right under your nose. Odds are, nice guys have had their fair share of time spent in the friend zone. And they know a thing or two about listening to women, giving advice, and helping them through the tough times. And all those things is why they're in the friend zone. A lot of these qualities are the kind of thing that we look for in a potential mate. So why are we so quick to relegate awesome guys to the friend zone without giving them a fair shot? We might be too naive to see all the signs right in front of us, but there will come a time where a guy who is used to strictly staying in the friend zone will make his way into boyfriend territory and become a total catch for someone. Sure, when those women have been done riding the carousel and realize that their market value has dropped significantly and their biological clocks are going haywire and they need to settle. That's the only reason why. Before you immediately brush off an incredibly good guy because he's too nice, think twice because you'll soon understand that nice guys always get the girl in the end. Keep dreaming, lady. Number one, the final one she has here, we want the happy ending. All of us dream of a picture-perfect happy ending when it comes to our imaginary storybook romance. But when we keep picking the wrong guys, it makes it a whole lot harder to keep the dream alive. Realizing that nice guys make great partners is ultimately a real game changer. We might not realize it initially, but but these are the guys who not only want us to give us the happy ending we've always wanted, but they're also the ones who are generally will make us happy in the end. Bullshit. Bullshit, bullshit. The happy ending, come on here. How many how many marriages end up in divorce in this day and age? Right? And the ones that don't get divorced, how many of those marriages, the, the man and the woman, either are just really bored, living together like roommates, raising the kids, they're not attracted to each other, they sure as hell don't love each other. That's on the lower end. Or they absolutely hate each other's guts and are miserable and fighting all the time and it's all negative and toxic and all that. And the poor kids are sucked in the middle of this. Okay, that's most marriages. There's no happy ending. And trying to make women happy, good fucking luck. Okay, people may not like what I'm saying. A lot of women may not like what I'm saying. But this is the reality how it is today. In this day and age, in 2020, here in the West. As I've said before, don't get married. Save yourself a whole lot of of hell and agony and misery. Don't fucking do it, guys. Do not get sucked into this shit. Goes on. Article's almost over. Nice guys will go above and beyond to make sure that we feel loved, appreciated, and respected. They make us their top priority and would give us the world if they could. Sure, we've all had enough bad dates, failed relationships, and lackluster, almost of relationships that we ever needed. But when you find the right guy, he proves to you that it was all worth the wait. Basically, nice guys are the ones we want to settle down with and be with forever. They are the ones who have shown us what it really means to be an awesome relationship and we wouldn't have it any other way. Yeah, keep dreaming. So guys, that's it for her 15 reasons trying to convince women to go for nice guys and 15 reasons to convince guys that are foolish enough and naive enough that they're going to win in the end. Guys, it's fucking bullshit. 
Okay, I'm telling you that right now. And it doesn't make a difference if women are in their 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s. Guys that behave like the nice guy, which he's describing in all these things, stay in the friend zone. They don't get women. Or they will temporarily when the woman wants to settle. But again, he never gets her. This It's complete nonsense. All right. And any of you guys have been in a relationship or marriage and you're honest with yourselves that at some point before you started waking up and seeing the light, so to speak, you were that guy and you know exactly how it was. All right, let's be honest here. So guys, I did this article again, like I said, just to show you this bullshit here, which is trying to be sold. This is why I tell you before, never take advice from women about dating, relationships, pick up women, all that. It's, it's a recipe for disaster. They don't understand what they emotionally respond to. They're not going to give you the best advice. Don't do it. So, but anyhow, guys, that's it for today. Be sure to comment down below. Let me know what you think about this. And be sure to like the video, share with your friends, and subscribe. And I'll catch you next time.